wishes. It's Holly. Welcome to Dandelion Stitches. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad you have chosen me. If you could subscribe, like, ring the bell, share, that would be amazing. Um, we're we're kind of cozy today. Um, it's raining and yucky, and uh, but tomorrow it's supposed to be better. So um, I'm sure that you're probably going to be sick to death of just looking at me and listening to me talk after the last two videos of me talking. But um, since we are past now the March Battle of the Boxes and getting ready to start April, I thought maybe we would talk a little bit about choosing a box, choosing a box that's that's right for you. But before we do that, uh, I would just like to announce that the winner of the 8K giveaway is Pat Jennings. Pat, congratulations. The quilt kit comes to you as long as you let me know. Uh, today is Thursday. Um, today is Thursday the 28th. Uh, I think if you'd let me know by Monday the 1st, that's that should be uh, plenty of time. And if I don't hear from you by Monday the 1st, then we will move on to the next possible winner. So congratulations. Uh, that's awesome. I love giving a good giveaway. Uh, lately, the boxes have been pretty good because I frequently give those away, but I, I haven't had as many that I wanted to say goodbye to. So that's, that's that. I needed a calendar to tell me what was going on. So I have come up with five, um, sure, five. Hang on. I swear I had it in my hand. It was like right there, but it was not. So five things to consider when you're choosing a quilting subscription box. And um, these are certainly things that I was considering when I chose my first box, um, but I just thought I'd share them with you, give you a little something to think about when we start April's Battle of the Boxes. So the first one is, do you like a surprise or do you need to know? Because if you don't like a surprise, then it, it's it's not just, it's gonna be frustrating. Um, I these the money that you spend on these are funds that could be going towards other things that you know that you need or want than the, than the mystery of whatever's in the box. I love surprise. I love opening the box and oh look at this. Um, I think I find um, collections and different fabrics that I never would have seen before but I find them in a box. So uh, for me, uh, I I love the surprise of it. I love what you're getting. Sometimes I'll get a notion that I'm like, what does that do? Um, and that turns out to be like the notion I use all the time because I just, I never, I never knew. So um, that's a big one. And sometimes I think that we, you know, oh, everybody's getting the box. You should get, not, not necessarily, I mean, I think they're amazing and fun, but um, you should not feel like it's what the cool kids do. It's not. <laughs> it's not. So uh, the second is probably the most important, and that is to consider your price point. You need to know what you can afford, and just like anything else, the more money you spend on it, the more stuff is gonna be in that box, the more high quality, hopefully, hopefully, will be in that box. Um, so, you know, find your number. The the most, the least expensive is gonna be somewhere around cell sampler, uh, nine, 29 something dollars. Um, and you they'll go right all the way up to 100. If, at, especially around the holidays. Um, I have a little fund that I set aside every month that's for the holiday boxes because those suckers are pricey. And while um, some companies do send me boxes to 
review um and not the christmas ones <laughs> those no so um just keep that in mind you know prices you don't want to put yourself in debt over a subscription box and so far i'm it sounds like i'm saying don't get one but i clearly i think they're awesome so number three is what kind of box are you looking for are you looking for fat quarters just fabric just a very simple um like the intrepid thread does a bundle of tildas every month um so Wurz club has a fat quarters where you can choose how many and what kind and all kind that's that's a good box um do you need a, a multiple projects do you need the project to have all the stuff like what what do you need um do you are you for fruit do you like you know all the stuff or are you more bare bones so that's an important one too because if you are frou-frou and you want the box to have like all kinds of goodies in it um and you end up with a box that has very few you're going to be disappointed but again the more stuff you want the more expensive that box is going to be so number four uh do you have a style or do you want your box to reflect that style and do you want your box to reflect that style um, which is probably the main reason, the main thing that, that led me to want to review boxes on this channel is that a lot of them do have their own kind of niche or personality as it goes. Um, so Sampler almost always has Lori Holt, uh, Corey Yoder, um, uh, Chelsea and Sherry, Sherry and Chelsea, you know, that kind of, uh, more pastel kind of cute sort of thing um so yeah it has an almost masculine tone to it it but you can certainly use it in all ways but they do tend to pick things that are just are a little edgier um uh open gate is a kind of classically traditional her fabrics are usually just crazy beautiful. Um, also, is it important to you that you, for me, I like a box that gives me the project and then gives me enough fabric to do the project, not a ton more, just the, the fabric. I don't want a lot of excess fabric that is going to end up in my remnant pile. I, I really would like it and that's how open gate does it they give you what you need for the project they also give you the option of of add-ons which I, I also think is a great idea if you want the just the box here it is but if you want uh fat quarters if you want the backing for the big project you can go ahead in and do that too so um you kind of need you need to identify your own like what kind of fabrics you're attracted to and then um, go from there. And maybe it's 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 a good way to like break out of your your niche and find out something different. Um, number five is who produces your box. Um, Fat Quarter does so sampler, and so it's a big. I I consider Missouri Star and Fat Quarter Shop to be. Um, kind of like the the big box like the targets of fabric kind of um but there are so many small businesses that do boxes ginger quilter she's a small business um i had my list out here golden cow fort worth um all kinds of different availabilities um, right now, of the ones that we are judging for their, our three month, um, it goes all the way from So Sampler at twenty nine ninety five. Um, Modern Maker, the Alderwood box that looks like it's a pillow, pretty much is um, thirty two, which I think is excellent price point. The most expensive one we're doing is Bella Rose, and that is bi monthly, and that is seventy nine dollars. 
So uh, back to, is it, it, how do you shop for other things? Do you prefer to um, give your business to small businesses, that kind of thing, than a, a box from, let's just say, Bella Rose or Quilted Cow would be more up your alley because they're smaller businesses and they there's their overhead is not, um, I didn't explain that correctly. They just have more money. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. Um, and so their boxes are produced a, a little bit more professionally. They just, you know. So if it's important for you to support small business, then there are a lot of small businesses that have boxes out there that would be very happy to take your money. Um, frequently, a box will have a wait list. Um, but put your name on the wait list because... I mean, there's been times when I put my name on a wait list and like a week later, they let me know that there was an opening. So um, don't don't fall down on that one. That's a, use that wait list. I'm gonna throw a number six in here and um, there are people that are gonna come for me, but I really, I really feel strongly about this. Under no circumstances, <laughs> none, should you, order Mrs. Quilty. It is the worst of the worst. Um, if we're, I always say the fabric stinks. There are people that are more like, oh, the fabric's fine. You can wash it, blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing. Our friend Chantal over at Wildberry Quilting got the box. Um, and her first just looking at it was yeah, the fabric's a little not great, but pretty much it's a good box. And then her daughter wanted to learn to sew, and so she decided, oh, well, the Mrs. Quilty box might be a good way for her to do that. And then they discovered that the pattern was wrong, that the the measurements were off in several places, and it was literally impossible for her to do the the project that they had. There's no excuse for that, none. I mean, if you're putting out a box intended for quilters, you need to have that thing looked over by quilters. Somebody should be test making that quilt. It's, it's just, it's laziness on their part. And they think that for the flash and the, and that they can be this way. It's not okay. It's not okay. And if you have only small funds to spend on a box, go with Sew Sampler. Do not do Mrs. Quilty. They are, you know, most of the time I would say, you do you, if that's what makes you happy, then that's what you should do. But I really feel like this company, Mrs. Quilty, is um, it, it's, it's a little reprehensible. I mean, when the pattern doesn't even You've got crappy fabric, and then the pattern is is incorrect. Mm, that's just that's bad. So that this is my saying I, the big red cross. Don't don't do it. Just don't do it. So that's it. That is my um, five plus <laughs> things to think about if you think you're gonna want to get a subscription box. And I hope those things are are kind of helpful to you if you are looking for a box. So, um, I do not have a moment of zen of Dandelion today. She has been wet and grumpy. <laughs> well, she's not, it's okay. She doesn't get mean or anything. She just does not like to not be able to go outside. And she doesn't like to be wet. And she really doesn't like thunder. So today is not her day. But I do have another little moment of zen that I will share with you. So, be well, be safe. And here it is, your moment of zen. And there she is, little River Elizabeth. This is her most recent inside mommy picture. And she's four pounds, 12 ounces, which is awesome. And she has a full head of hair. So I just can't wait to meet her little sweetie pie. I just, oh goodness, I'm so excited. So your moment of zen, inside baby pictures. Hi, River.